What's going on guys? Welcome back to an episode of Boosted Egos. And for today's episode, I got the car back. And I can so happy about this guys, I couldn't even explain to you, but after the last episode, it's been uh I want to say about two weeks, two-ish, two and almost three now. But uh yeah, I got the car. We're currently at uh Bradley 80s shop. If you can give me a yee, -yee Brad. So he's in back in there we're detailing and we got some other things going on tonight that'll be in the next episode. Some bigger things for this channel, hopefully. Might be some new content. But uh here I gotta give you some light. Um wanna go actually through in depth in this car and talk to you guys about because the other video that I did, I didn't really. So I got the car here. Uh we just did a little poles in it, a couple of drives, so it is warmed up, so I just want to show you guys a little bit about it. So this is the car. Like I said, it is a uh, 2008 BMW 335XI. It was a one owner BC car when I got it. Um, it does have some modifications done to it. Um, first thing to look at is the three piece four star M14s wrapped in Toyos. And they're really, really good tires, I find, actually. They are more of a sporty compound, so I can't complain. Um, it does have, like I said, some modifications to it. First of all, keyless entry, which is nice, but pretty clean interior. It's all fully loaded, of course, being BMW. You got the nice leather adjustable ball string. Um, th uh, this is the only perfection right here. It's a little bit of wear right there. But other than that, it's a six-speed manual. Uh, oil drive the XI and a oh, freaking show you guys this because this is the best part. A little dirtier now, but uh, M54 uh, 3 liter inline 6 uh, twin turbo setup, which I really like. Uh, has a carbon fiber dining uh, air intake, which was about 1800 they said from them. Uh, Dynam itself. Uh, it does have a uh, X Provic, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Catbax uh, exhaust system, which was about $4,000, which is a lot for an exhaust system, but, but since it is a German car, a BMW, and all that jazz, it's going to be expensive. Um, it also has, you guys can see there, towel blow off valve, a silicone charge pipe, and yeah, other than that, the car is pretty much stock, has a little bit of tint on the back, and it's a great little car, I can't complain. It has a lot of little, tiny little things I love about it, like it has a LED courtesy lights under here, so during the night it shines down, which is like really nice little subtle touch. Um, This is the only, <laughs> I did put a sticker on it, work in progress. So after getting this car, like I said, I got it about two, almost three weeks ago. Um, I owned it for about a day and a half. Like I got it uh, around three o'clock. Um, drove it from Calgary to Drumheller. And then from Drumheller to home, which is about 30 minutes outside of Drumheller. So I drove from Calgary to home, or sorry, Calgary to Drumheller to home. And then the next day from home to Drummeller and drove around town for the day. So after this day, uh, the car lost all of its power steering, a battery light came on and started puffing a lot of smoke. So I'm like, oh, that hurts. So I pull over into a, uh, our local hangout, Creeps, Canadian Tower parking lot. And yep, I uh, decided to I don't know what you'd call. It blew the turbos. It blew the serpentine belts. And yeah, so we got everything sent off to warranty because I had a warranty on the car, a third-party warranty. So turbos got replaced, serpentine belt, pulleys, tensioners, all that jazz. A uh, whole bunch of lines all throughout the, around the turbo, vacuum lines. The, um, so right now it's running mint. Uh, there is one little... Check engine light on that comes on periodically for an O2 sensor since it is a aftermarket uh, car or aftermarket exhaust, sorry. And plus, it is tuned right now. It supposedly has an MHD tune on it, just a flash, doesn't have an 
any computer or anything hooked up to actually mess around with it. So that is a thing coming to this car is putting a uh, whole MHD tablet, have everything set up in it so I can actually monitor all my AFR. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, uh, monitor all my AFRs and or my AFR uh, boost, all that stuff. But other than that, the car is back. Uh, can't wait to do more stuff with it, of course. And um, like we said, uh, we have the M5 over there. Where are you at? Right there. And we do have the Subi on top of it. And there is something else that might be in this lawn that we might be doing, hopefully tonight, that I think will be fun. And that will be in the next video. But, uh, yeah. That's probably it for this video. I just want to give you guys a little nice small recap on what's going on with the car. And, uh, pretty much, yeah. It's back. It's running. It's driving. Just did a small road trip with it this weekend when I got back. And everything was good on it. But uh, other than that, can't complain. Anything to say, Brad? Well, it's not an STI, uh, but it's all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ooh, vice chirp. But you guys have yourself a nice day. Um, see you guys next one. And remember, just keep on going.